on into collagens. Factory specialises in ribs, dry-aged steak and wood-fired pizzas, sourcing quality ingredients from the local area. So, see you at Collegians. Smile Team believe a beautiful smile is an investment for the future. Locations in Wollongong, Shell Harbour and Bowral, we're family focused with caring staff to share in your orthodontic journey. Using digital technologies and private consulting rooms. And don't forget our on time guarantee, where Smile Team will pay you if you are kept waiting. We can't wait to meet you! Contact Smile Team Orthodontics today to get that winning smile. Good afternoon and welcome to a sunny Collegiate Sports Centre. It's finals time in the Hardware Man Illawarra League. West and Thoreau in the minor semi-final here this afternoon. The road will end for one of them. West, last year's grand finalist, looking to at least equal that. Mark Thoreau obviously missed the finals for the first time in 25 years last season. Back where they belong here in the sudden death matches and the voice of the butchers Johnny Pett joins me to run us through the lineups. Thanks Mitch. Looking forward to today's game. Should be an absolute cracker. And for the thrill side today, coached by Jarrah Costello as they make their way out onto the field. Number one is Ty McCarthy. Number two, Sakobi Mecky. Number three, Daniel Perkins. Number four, Tom Simpson. Number five is Hayden Crosland. Number six, Sam Clune. Number seven, Joel Johnson and captain of the Thrill Butchers. Number eight, Jack Noble. Jared Whitty wearing the number nine. Julian Flego, 10. Under 11, Luke Gallagher. Number 12, Luke Dodge. And the veteran Aaron Booth is wearing the 13 on the bench for Thrill. Number 14, Harold Snell. 15, Joel Ruskin. 16, Max Bailey. And number 18 is Reese Kennedy. And for the Western Suburbs, Red Devils, coached by Brett Kamorley. Number one, Lachlan Hurst. Number two, Will Tom. Number three, Junior Vivi. Number four, Hayden Carpenter. Number five, Kurt Field. Number six, nice Zach start. Green. Yeah. Number seven, Justin Rodriguez. Nice Number eight, Bryce Gibbs. Number nine, Josh Daly. The 10, Justin King. Number 11, Jared McKildrick. Number 12, Marty Cramp. And the skipper of the West and Suburbs Red Devils. Number 13, Wade Stanford. Number 15, Kyle Lodge. 16, Zach Blay. Number 17, Greg Ray. And number eight, number 20, Kane Brennan. And we've One. got kickoff, Mitch. I'll pass back to you, mate. So the Butchers now making their way out of their own end. Dumped up there, so an early piggyback up. penalty. It did look like he just up. went up past the horizontal there. It was Julian Flago. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Both sides will be keen to get off to a good start right, in this one. Sure no splitting in this season. The Butchers a two-point victory at Parish Park earlier this season and a draw in the return clash at Gibson Park. 16 all that one just three weeks ago. Go. So we see Johnson now onto Flago again. He's up towards the 30. Drops the ball out the back there for Witty. Wrapped up there by his opposite, Josh Daly. Bryce Gibbs also involved. They'll bring him down, 22 I metres out. 13, you're off. They come left Wait. to Clune. Beath, the veteran, pushing his way up towards the 10. Movement 20. Go. Two. Witty out of dummy half again, finds Johnson. Johnson's second man there for McCarthy. Some space early on for the Butchers. Good shot though there from Tom. Shuts that down. Zero. And that first raid comes to North. Good defence out there from Tom. Jared, Jared. Since the numbers were thinning, got in and snuffed out the attack before it could get going out there as Lodge now takes it up That's towards one. the 30. Go. This Thank is Gibbs. You. All day, mate, get on. Held in the tackle Move of Beath. Jack Noble also Go. involved. So they come right now to Stanford. Stanford Move been outstanding for the Devils this season. In that lock forward position really gives us some impetus through the middle. So we see Gibbs again, second carry of the set for the veteran. Stand alert. Brett Kamoy, no doubt, Four. leaning on second marker out. all the NRL experience Bryce Gibbs brings to the table for his side in the big matches. Oh, Hurst now played on the 30 last Sam. tackle. They go left to Rodriguez. It's a nice kick. We'll test out McCarthy at the back. Chase is coming through, but he takes that nicely in the end. Fine. As we see Johnny early on, both sides getting through their sets nice and early. Yeah, both completed sets from both sides and a good finishing end of the set there by Justin Rodriguez. Just putting it high and testing out Ty McCarthy early in the game. As we see Thrill just bringing it out of their own area. Hold, hold. Just 10 metres out. Witty at dummy half. And Noble, and Noble last week scored a rare try coming off 
Jared Whitty scooting out a dummy half, and Jared Whitty, he'd been enormous the last few weeks in at dummy half, really given through all that little bit of X factor out of there, Mitch. Yeah, one of those juniors that the Rural Club love bringing through their ranks as Johnson now puts this kick down to be fielded by Hurst at the back. He's up towards the 40 there. Release, stand up, 10. Hold, one. So that's Green in at dummy half. Carpenter in from the centres. Looking to have a carry through the big men. Gets dumped on his back there. Eight. Gallagher and Noble Two. doing the defensive Eight. work. Daly again. On to Tom. So the back five getting through plenty of work early on for the Devils. Three. Certainly a bonus for Brett Kamoy to have the likes of Tom, Vi Vi, Hayden Carpenter out on this set. Some big bodies can really go in and take the pressure off their forwards. Four. As they have in this set, Daly now goes left to Rodriguez. Back on the inside for Vi Vi. Nowhere to go there, plays it 25 metres out. They come right to Green. He'll put the kick across towards Mecky. He goes up. It looks like it's taken a deflection there. It will be a knock-on call. Referee Marcus Janet saying the Devils got the first hand of that one. No advantage out here. Zero. No. Sam, over there. Of course, the kicking game of both Justin Rodriguez and Zach Green was a real feature of their last-up performance. A, a big win over... Collegians here at Collegian Sports Centre in the penultimate round. Had the week off. Interesting to wow. see. I'm sure some would have liked to carry that momentum through. It's one of those things that can go one of two ways. Johnny, the week off before the final. You're right on that, Mitch. I'm not sure which way Coach Brett Kamali would have been. He would have liked the Western Suburbs to not have the buy in the last round, continue on their winning way. But it's a good also coming into semi-final football. Have that week off, rest the body. Inside. Do a bit of research on each team and we come into finals football and on the rule their last two games racking up a huge amount of points against Coromel and also Berkeley last week and One, Coach Costello he'd be he'd be happy with the rules leading up. the semi-finals for season 2017. You would think so 116 points racked up. See hard to fully get a read given Berkeley and Coromel two. both struggling this season but did what they had to do the butchers they went out there and really three no, Put a stamp on the back of half of the competition. Get Hit some, on, obviously, mid-season models there. Movement, but uh, some big inclusions today. No. Sam Clune and obviously Reese Kennedy onto the bench. Massive, massive boost for Jared Costello. Speaking of try scorers last week, I believe Reese Kennedy, the rare 20. case of scoring a try for two different teams on two different days. They uh, they ran him onto the sideline to qualify Both him, and he was out there trying to have a bit of a spell on the wing, and they made a break, and he had to score a try in a pair of borrowed boots that were a size too small. They tell me so. Doing everything he can to be on the paddock today will be a big, big boost off the bench when he gets injected into the action. As Crosland now take it up towards the 40. Move on. He'll be made to play it slow, Trainers. play the ball there. Yep. So you see just a few of the Thoreau trainers there getting their marching orders. Marcus Jennett yep. having none of it. Two. Things back underway. This is Flego again. One. Takes it up over halfway. Good carry from the big fella. Two. Witty at dummy half again. Noble. He's up over the 40. Some good go forward in this Nine, set for three. the Butchers. Now it's Beef. Second man there for Clune. Clune dummies. Almost gets away from the tackle of Cramp, but they'll bring him to ground with the help of Stanford there. Which is 20 metres out. Turning it on in the attack. McCarthy goes to the line ball in both hands. Always asking Help questions of the defence, T-Mac, the veteran. Release, Zach! As they go to Clune, Clune drops that one on the toe. It's a nice one. It'll sit up there in the end goal. And Hurst, or rather Rodriguez, goes back there to field it. So a nice, neat little kick there. Good set there from the Butchers. Johnny got on the front foot and nice kick on the end of it. Great set by, by Thoreau, just working into the Western Suburbs territory and a great end of the set for Sam Clune, just rolling that into the end goal line. But well read by Justin Rodriguez to come back and cover and just swoop no on that ball. So West to drop it out. Thrill with another chance at the Western Suburbs line, Mitch. And there's a bit of pressure applied here from Thrill at the West line so far. Indeed, it is what Sam Clune brings. We mentioned how big an inclusion he was. It's the polish to the end of the sets in games where he's been missing at times this year. The young Jack Eager, Hayden Crosland featuring the halves a little bit. Both great young Thrill juniors, but the polish on the end of the sets, not quite there as it is when Sam Clune's in the lineup as... Witty now takes it forward, dumped on his back there by Gibbs. 
three. Hill played eight metres out. Beath at dummy half. They go on to Johnson. Flat ball there for Gallagher. It's Whitty at dummy half again. Short for Beath. Over to Clune. Clune crabbing his way across. Carpenter wraps him up there. So a little bit sideways here from the Butchers in this set. Clune to play it. No. Josh. Perkins on to Johnson. He'll look to drop it on the toe again and nicely fielded there. I think it was Kyle Lodge getting back there to do that work. It was. So the Devils defence pass in early Go. test there, Johnny. Two. Yeah, through all through everything at them in those last two sets. And Sam Clune's kick, oh, sorry, Joel Johnson's kick just not going between the two Western Suburbs players. And West have just brought out and they've come up with a stake, Mitch. Seven. And Thrull are on the attack 15 metres out. Here's Noble on the left. Just going forward, there's Marty Cramp wrapping Noble around legs, Stanford over the top. So through with another chance at the Western Suburbs line. Witty left to Clune. Clune with a double pump and to Max Bailey. Max Bailey's just coughed it up. And Marcus Jennett's come up with a penalty. So Mitch, another chance that Thrull have got at the Western Suburbs line. Yeah, two of the real young bulls there coming together. Max Bailey and Hayden Carpenter. Wait. Carpenter just a little bit too eager there. Got him before he had the ball in his hands. Looking forward to seeing that battle play out on this edge through the afternoon. Max Bailey being outstanding in a full year of first grade for the Butchers this season. He plays it now to Witty. Noble, flat ball for Flego. He's looking to get the R3. He might get there himself. Good last ditch defence there. I'll tell you what, there was some space out on that edge if Noble had gone behind to Johnson, but they'll play it a metre out. It's Noble again. On to Clune. Clune kicking for the space. Mecky coming through. And he's got a hand to that. And Perkins will put it down. But they'll say it was a knock-on. Did look that way from where we are standing. Mecky certainly got the first hand to it. So a couple of kicks testing out. Wingers on this edge. Mecky at the other end. So it's the Devils there. They Brown. dodged that early bullet, but Pete, certainly scrum. under the Go. early pressure. In there. Going, going 20. Arms over. Hayden Boyne with your second rower. Head in lock. Nine. Just right in. Through lock. Get in. Boyne. So Greenfield's the ball. Kurt Field in off the wing. Taking that first up, met there by Perkins and Gallagher. Hold hey. one. Justin King. Bit of big boost to the Devils too. Late season Move inclusion up. certainly brings plenty of size and Hold. experience over the past couple of seasons. Rodriguez flat ball for Lodge. You see a run out there Four. from dummy half. Four. Is King now on to halfway? Six, six. So there goes Zach Green. Looking for the grass, he'll find it. McCarthy going back to field. This one loses his footing. Puts himself under a little bit of pressure. I'm sure that was among the instructions from Brett Kamoy this afternoon to both his young halves to find the grass with their clearing kicks. I've done that on both occasions so far this afternoon. They come blindside now for Perkins. Getting close to that sideline. He'll be made to play it. Five in from touch, 30 metres off his own try line. Clune on to Crosland. He'll be made to play it 35 metres out. So some tough going out of their own end in this set for the Butchers as Beef now carries it. Tucks it on the arm and carries it forward. As they come now, last tackle, Johnson. He'll look for the grass as well and find it. Hurst back to reel this one in. Both sides going set for set. Certainly has the intensity befitting a finals match as we see a bit of a spilled ball there from Hurst. So the pressure will go back on the Devils. Have to think it may start to tell if they keep giving the Butchers this many opportunities Aaron, down their end of the field, Johnny. They keep giving Thrill the chances, but Thrill haven't been able to 
bust through the western suburbs defence to no, trouble no the score for the first okay. time today. All it's going to do is get a reaction. Yeah, oh, see Marcus Jennett just having a chat right. to Aaron Booth. If Beath. we get a reaction, you know who we're going to do. It wouldn't it's be the first time over the career of Aaron Booth that Marcus Jennett has pulled him aside for a bit of a one-on-one -on -one spiel. And Mitch, given the chances that Thrill have had down this on end, the 20. West, on the 20. West defence is standing up the on task the so far. Josh. It's going to be a game today where which whoever team takes their chance is going to be the points on the board. Ball in. Out. It has been, though. You would have been expecting that, I would think. Jacko would have been Stay urging in. patience. It is a finals game. You don't One, get twelve, points easily. You really do have to build pressure. Now That's what the Butchers are doing at the moment. Some nice footwork there from Bailey getting close to the try line. Movement. Twelve. Get him up. Two. Big, strong lad, but he's got good feet as well as we saw there. Noble, second member. Johnson, some space on this edge again. McCarthy sizes it up. They've go to Crosland and oh, I think the through the hands ball was on there. He went with the cutout, had an overlap, but made the decision easy for Will Tom on that edge. Flego now, he's got the ball in that arm, looking to free, and they'll say no too early there from the Devils. But was it a chance going biggie on that edge, Johnny? Josh Daly, definitely Mitch. Offside. I think if Ty McCarthy had his time over again, Jared. he would have given the ball to Tommy Jared. Simpson. All Tommy Simpson would have had to have done is drawn the Western Suburbs winger Will Tom, and Aiden Crosland would have gone over One in the foot. corner. As we see uh, another penalty given to Thrill and Marcus Jennett making the call. And it looks like Jared Costello sent the message out from the bench for Luke Gallagher to add the two points. And last week at Gibson Park, Luke Jared. Gallagher's kicking Joel. game Same wasn't game on song. I think he was about two from seven. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure he'd be wanting to put this one over to get Thrill on the scoreboard first today, Mitch. Yeah, it's an interesting one taking the two here. I think early on in a finals game, we're still only 15 minutes in. You'd want to keep the foot on the throat, but points obviously at a premium, as we mentioned. Guess it's a call you often looked at in retrospect. I'll have to show the message will now be complete this set. Get down there and drive the advantage home. Could be a very precious two points down the stretch as Gallagher raises the flags there. But I don't think West will mind that too much. I think they'll take that as a small victory for their defence there. Josh. Really standing up to there, the test okay. early on. One there, you're a metre in front of it, mate. <laughs> Spoke to uh, Jared Costello through the week, Johnny, about some of the veterans he has in this side, the likes of Aaron Beath and, and Ty McCarthy, the amount of competitions they've won with the Butchers and how he's just seen those types of guys just lift a little bit around training. They can get a bit of a whiff of the finals and have lifted their game accordingly. Big boost for him to have them in the lineup this afternoon. Yeah, it's good to have those Aaron Booth, Ty McCarthy. One. Just for the guys, the juniors coming through, you guys like Max Bailey, just to get involved in that the Thrill Butchers culture of winning finals football and going through to the, the big dance, I suppose, in a couple of weeks' time at Wynn Stadium. As we see one of those blokes, Aaron Beast, just trawling forward again and making good metres. And to be out there with a guy like Aaron Booth as a young bloke, you look up to someone like that, Mitch. Certainly do. It's certainly been the formula out at the Butchers too, as we mentioned. I believe nine or ten local juniors in the lineup this afternoon for the Butchers. Something that's obviously a source of great pride for the clubbers. That's a great kick in there from Johnson. Gets in behind Hurst. He'll have to bring it out from his own try line. So... Message would have been to complete that set after the points, and they've done just that. Perhaps their best set of the game coming out of trouble. Good shot there from Bailey, but Tom bounces away from it. You two guys. And that's a very disappointing penalty to give away there. Jared Costello won't be happy with that one at all. All the pressure. They build a great set, a good kick on the end of it, and to let it off. Piggyback penalty. Not even sure what that one was for there. Sam Clune, the offender. They'll say he didn't get back the 10. Hold it. Two of those early on from Marcus Jennett, obviously experienced wheel blesser, whistle blower, wanting to assert his authority early on. Step in, 16. Yeah, for sure, Mitch. Do you think what? that both sides would know Marcus Jennett's way of refereeing? And here's one for the rules, and he will Release. anything Captain offside, step. back chat. Two. So I think he'll blow the pee out of the whistle what? today. It is finals football, and he's on the stage as well as as these two sides to produce a good game. As we see, Wes just. On the left-hand side, through Rodriguez, finding, trying to find that space at Ebbett. Three. Tommy Simpson up to the task in defence. There's Bryce Gibbs going forward. That's all right. Four. His experience. Two we talked about Aaron Beast's experience for Thoreau. What about Bryce Gibbs just giving that NRL experience back to these young Western Suburbs players? out here, Mitch? Yeah, obviously won an NRL Grand Final with the Tigers. So 
So some experience on both sides. As Mekki goes back to field this one, he'll try to bring it out from his own try line. He's a big, strong lad, and he's almost got there. That takes five defenders to keep him in the end goal, but a good kick there from Green. And now the Devils, their turn to start building a little bit of pressure. That's a battle I'm looking forward to watching over on that edge. Johnny, you mentioned over there, Tommy Simpson and Junior Viavai. Junior Viavai, the best centre in this competition for the past couple of seasons, you would think, against one of the younger guys there trying to assert himself. It'll be a great battle to watch throughout the afternoon. Spoke to Tommy actually ahead of the, the Berkeley game. He said how much he'd enjoyed that challenge a couple of weeks ago in that draw they had out there at Gibson Park. As we see Hurst onto Blay, who's just come onto the field. He takes it up over the 30. One. So first real opportunity Seven. here for the Devils. Justin King there, but bounces One. away from that, but he spilt the One. ball. Two. One. Max One. Bailey there with the heavy contact. Might have hurt himself to come off a little dusty after that one as he sucks in a few deep breaths, but looks like he'll be okay. As Reese Kennedy gets his Two. first carry coming Seven. onto the field. Mecky now taking it over the 40. Seven. We touched on Kennedy's inclusion, how big it will be for the Butchers this afternoon. It is absolutely monstrous. He was huge in that start to the season they had. Obviously oh. knocking off Dapto at home, just getting edged out by Collegians as well, really asserting themselves as a premiership threat early in the season, the Butchers. As they go right now to Johnson, he'll put this one high. It's another testing one for Hurst at the back. Chase is coming through, but he takes it well. And counters. But a couple of good back-to-back -back sets there from the Butchers getting up the field and getting to their kick. Completions are an absolute must in finals football, especially with the calibre of these two sides. Got plenty of players who can hurt you if you give them Sorry. too much footy. As Stanford now takes it up towards the 40. Held there by Bailey. Jared Whitty also involved in the tackle. Cramp takes it up towards the 40. Help on! He's slow going for the Devils in this set. As they come to green for the last tackle again, Max Bailey giving a bit of what for afterwards there. Crossland bringing the ball back. So they'll start this set in good position here. The Butchers, they'll be on their own 40. Hold! As we see, perhaps... Both sides starting to feel the pinch just a little bit on both sides. The kicks, both set of forward packs, been a little bit slower getting back on side. It has been a frenetic pace early on. Not a whole lot of stoppages either as Gallagher takes it up to the Devils 40. Whitty comes left to Clune. Clune back on the inside for Dodge. Dodge is up. He'll play it on the 30. Josh! They come to Clune again. Dummies inside. Goes out the Play back for McCarthy. McCarthy well tackled there by Carpenter. Had him in his sights and just dumps him on his back. Good effort there from the Devil Centre as Clune now on the last tackle. Kicks for the space. He'll be wanting that to sit up for him. It won't. It'll run dead. So a seven tackle set for the Devils. And I know one of Jared Costello's pet hates Johnny. Yeah, I think Sam Clune was hoping that one would sit up. It was a good chase by the kick from Thrill, but just a bit too much pepper on that one. And Ty McCarthy, I just noticed before, and Hayden Carpenter just come out and give, give Ty McCarthy a great shot. And, and he was strong, Hayden Carpenter, in that game, the 16-all draw at Gibson Park a few weeks ago. Hayden Carpenter, he was real strong in defence. And we talked about that matchup of Tommy Simpson and Vi Vi. I think there's um, matchups all over the field, Mitch. So we, we had two all, two nil. Sorry, 18 minutes remaining in this first half. I think the right option was for Thrill to take those two points because, as you said earlier, points are going to be super vital today. Yeah, so it looks as if they're at a premium both sides on song defensively early on in this one. Three. As they go to Green, who will kick again? Down to McCarthy. He feels that one on the full. Crabs his way back in field. He looked to link with Crosland. He doesn't. He dummies instead. He takes it up to the 30. As you mentioned, uh, McCarthy a bit of space out the back, but snuffed out very quickly on the edges. The Devils obviously done their homework on T-Mac at the back. They know he likes to float across field and create opportunities that way. So jamming up and in, not giving him any room to move. As Dodge now takes this one up towards the 40. 
Such a Trojan for the Butchers week in, week out, Luke Dodge. Doesn't really get the raps. A lot of players do, but certainly held in high esteem in the Butchers ranks. As Kennedy now with his first carry, he's up towards the 20. Johnson dummies inside. Hits Simpson, who straightens. 22 metres out, last tackle. Johnson takes it to the line. He kicks it back towards Hurst there. He's hoping that one will sit up, and it won't again. So back-to-back -back seven tackle sets. It was on song early in the game, but Butcher's last tackle options just starting to get away from him a bit, John. Yeah, two seven tackle sets now back-to-back -back here for Western Suburbs. It's hard enough to defend against six tackles, but to get that extra tackle to work their way down the field and try and get a bit of field position. As we see West just approaching their 40 metre line. Reese That's Kennedy one. in defence there with Luke Gallagher. West just coming over. There's Seven, Hayden Carpenter. 12, Max. Two. 12, not There's squared. Daly out of dummy half. Out the back play, Rodriguez. Inside ball. There's Reese Kennedy Reese. manhandling over Eight the top. Eight. Jared Three. Witte is it underneath. Jack Noble. Max. And West just dominating this, this set here. That's good. Meters west have come out from on the back end of that seven tackle set. Four. Daly push left. Rodriguez, he'll go himself. And on the last tackle, it's interesting play there. Rodriguez to go himself on the last green to the boot. And a little error from Hayden Crosland. Four. Four. A bit of a mistake there from Hayden Crosland. Mick. He's still knocking towards his goal, which is what he Yeah, did. it was a tough one to feel. Good work to. Young Zach Green there, he realised realised Rodriguez had taken the tackle on the last, switched around to the left side and put a neat little kick in there. Give his side another opportunity. Something you do have to love about Justin Rodriguez's game as a half. He's not afraid to take a few bumps and bruises. Take the ball right into the line as he did there. And his half's partner there getting on the back of his work and earning another set for his side. You might see a bit of a blood bin here. It's Crosland over there. Don't need some tape or something. Bit of magic water. So you guys, as we see Jack Noble leaving the field off the back of the dead ball line, Joel Ruskin, another one of those experienced campaigners coming on from the bench. So the Butchers need to switch on defensively here, have had most Inside. of the football at the other end of the park, Inside. have had to defend Inside. their line a great deal in this first 25 time, minutes. Go on, Ty, get in. So a test for them. So Rodriguez feeds the scrum. They go blindside play there, there's some space. But Johnson read that one well and makes the tackle. Almost caught the Butchers with their pants down there. But as Blay goes off his right foot, who we made to play at eight metres out. Daly onto green, flat ball there for Gibbs. Gibbs looking to offload, and he does. Cramp reels it back in. It was a tough one, but the skipper manages to take it. And the offload again for Gibbs. A bit of hot potato football here from the Devils. Gibbs a slow Three. play the ball there, edging his way towards the line. He's right on right. it. Plays it effectively in the in goal. Zach Green flat ball there for Lodge. Met well in the tackle there of Gallagher. Move, so getting close here, the Devils. Turning it on, a bit of pressure, Zach Blay. I don't think he was the intended recipient of that one, but he takes it well. Stand. So a little bit directionless in this set. They'll look to finish it well. Rodriguez taps that one on, and Vivi giving chase, but just a little bit too big. It did look like it would be too big off the boot, but the athlete that is, Junior Vivi, almost gets there and turns it into a four-pointer. What? Doesn't need much of a sniff on that edge, does he, Johnny? No, you give Junior Vivi an inch, he'll take a mile, Mitch. It's been interesting, the kicks from Western Suburbs have directed mostly down to Hayden Crosland in this first half. I'm not sure if it's a, a play that Brett Camorley has told Rodriguez and Green to employ in this game. But they've been let off there through all, and they'll work their way back out through Reese Kennedy and already over the halfway line, Mitch. Yeah, certainly getting up the paddock well this afternoon. Butch has had no trouble getting out of their own end. As Dodge now gets on the back of that carry from Kennedy, still going forward. Release. Three. Really has been a feature of the Butchers game this afternoon, running with purpose and getting up the field for the likes of Clune, who has the football now to go Release. to work. 
10 in from touch, 12 metres out. McCarthy, flat ball there for Ruskin, his first involvement. He'll play the ball there to Clune. Clune on the ball for Perkins. And Kurt Field comes from the clouds and saves that one. It looked like Perkins was going to reel that one. Would have been spectacular. But Kurt Field there at the last moment to knock that one dead. I think the crowd thought that Daniel Perkins was going to grab that and score a try. But Kurt Field, he's just popped out of nowhere and pushed that over the dead ball line. Western Suburbs up to the task Fine again of through all applying pressure on their try line. So another dropout for Western Suburbs as Sakopi Mackey fields that inches from the sideline and he'll bring it back infield. Marty Cramp wrapping him up. Zach Blay. Hasn't he been busy so far, Mitch, for West Zach Blay? Yeah, indeed, he came on, really got to work straight away. Been a great developing player came through under the previous coach Jason Riles him the likes of Rodriguez Hayden Carpenter and have really come on even more under Brett Kamali in these past two years he's got over the line there they have well there you go much of an opportunity and back play Max Bailey and Hayden Carpenter we mentioned those two young balls a bit earlier just coming to grips with each other there but it is the breakthrough opening try there for Sam Clune Not much of an opportunity there, just too big and too strong, John. We spoke about what Sam Clune brings to this rural side in the halves earlier on, Mitch, and you pointed out he just gives that bit of X factor, and Mark. he's gone across the field twice, Mark. and he's shown it going, sh go showed it there, and he's just gone Wait himself, and he's actually pushed over Mark. Zach Blow, who I just give a bit of a rap to. <laughs> so I don't know if that's the commentator's curse, but Hayden just Carpenter. too strong there, Sam Clune Hayden. over the line, and as we see a little bit of a scuffle there after the try, I dare say that. Referee Marcus Jennett's going to have a word to both teams. Yeah. Mate, try scored. No, no, and Mitch, the, been involved. the pressure okay. was there on speed from the start on of the game. Thrill right. had been attacking okay. Western Suburbs' line. Second it was just a matter of time, some. realistically, wasn't Keep it, until Thrill did here. bust over you know for their first try. Okay. Yeah, indeed, they have had the bulk of the field Mate. position and the possession. See, I think uh, just after scoring, I think uh, Hayden Carpenter might have just come through and just given Max Bailey a bit of a flick on the ear. But it all settled. Okay, Not a whole lot to it. And you kept going again at Zach. The big okay. Maxie uh, took a bit of exception to it and made his feelings it, okay? known. Heads on. Heads on. Could it be a finals game between the Butchers and Thrill with about out a bit of Argy Bargy? Leaves Gallagher now to attempt the conversion. If you can now, this one an eight point lead with 11 minutes before the break would be indeed a big one in the context of this match. Certainly very difficult against sides of this quality to be chasing points. You certainly don't want to be doing it in a semi-final. It is the task Gee, the Devils just gonna have, to have ahead of them three, mate. in the remainder of this well, one. got the message now after I pinned him down here, but just keep talking to him, mate. You'll try it all day. Right in that tough area to kick the ones you should knock over, but they're certainly yeah, not they easy. Just, they just stand there in the first place. Luckily for the kickers today, they've been buffeted by 100 kilometre hour winds through the Illawarra the last couple of days, but it's quite still today. So mercifully for the kickers and for the goal kick is in for the men at the back. It's a nice, still, lovely sunny day for football, really, here this afternoon. So it is 8-0, 10 minutes to half time. No starts. No starts here. Butchers on top here. The Devils looking to respond. Kickoff goes nice and high here from Vi Vi. Clune moving forward to catch it. As you mentioned, he plays in the half, Sam Clune, but absolute Adonis of a physique. He's a big, strong guy as well. As we saw there, just carrying a couple of defenders across the line. Good shot there too. It was McKilrick there on Ruskin, as we see. Looks like Mecky in off the wing. It is. Dodge now over halfway. Which is getting up the field well again. Their forwards really putting their hand up in this match. Well, that's a slow play. The ball there from Dodge on the 40. Ruskin up to Stanford. Daly also involved last tackle. They go right to Johnson. Some space there. Puts a little kick in. It bounces for him. It won't. Wasn't a bad kick by any stretch. It just sort of bounced favorably there. 
for Lockie Hurst and well taken too. He had a defender steaming down and he was always hard to take those ones, but he made it look easy in the end. As Tom now brings it out daily onto Cramp. Nice offload there from Cramp. Daly, flat ball there for Field in off the wing. Stanford now goes to the line, finds Rodriguez. Vivo does it again, Blay. He'll take it up towards halfway. Last tackle. Halves either side, it goes to Green who puts this one up. It's a spiralling, swirly one. As we mentioned, not a whole lot of breeze back there, but still a tough one there for McCarthy. He lets it bounce. Always a risk letting a rugby league ball bounce, Johnny, but it comes up favourably for the Butchers there. Gallagher there, that was around his boot lace as well, taken as by the big back rower. Perkins now. Oh, he's missed a couple of games through injury through the middle part of the year. Daniel Perkins, hasn't he been a real fine for Jared Costello this season? Not, not the biggest centre you'll see going out there, but just does his work week in, week out, Johnny. He sure does. He really tightens up that left-hand side, fourth rule, in defence, and he's got speed to burn. We watched the Gibson Park last week. He went down that left-hand flank like a motor car. As we see, Thrill just put a kick in, but well fielded by Lachlan Hurst. And Thrill, they're making great metres up through the middle, Mitch. Yeah, certainly are winning that battle at the moment. It does help when you've had Fine. the bulk of the football as well. Keeps the legs that little bit fresher as Field dumped there on the 30 metre line. Reese Kennedy and Joel Ruskin, you think you'd pick two different people to run at, but there they are as Perkins, that man we just wrapped. Big shot there, him and Carpenter have come together. We just gave him a wrap for putting his body on the line. He's done exactly that there, Johnny. It's another one, it's that matchup, isn't it? Carpenter and Perkins. And uh, we just give him a wrap, Mitch, and he's just come out of the line. Josh, bring him back. And four Sierra from Hayden Carpenter. Seven minutes on the clock, left of this first half, and through with another attacking set in Western oh, Suburbs scrum. Territory. And they'll be looking to the likes of Sam Clune, Ty McCarthy one. and Joel Johnson to create some okay. bit of magic down this end and try and get another across that line before half-time, Mitch. Yeah, very important time for the Devils. I remember that game we touched on earlier at Parish Park this year, won by the Butchers by two. A couple of lapses there for the Devils that day, either side of half-time. What? Came back to cost them. I'm sure that'll be fresh in their minds here as they look to play out this half. Six minutes left. Butchers up 8 0. Have designs on more. Ruskin to Clune again. Goes right to the line. Bailey gets it green. Certainly what they'll be looking to do there. Big Max Bailey isolate him there on young Zach Green. Equal to it on that occasion, though, was the young Devils 5-8. As Kennedy now fends away from one. Still going. They can't bring him to ground. They do now. It's a straight out for a dummy half. Witty. Sets an opportunity there. Closed very quickly. He'll play it a metre out. Johnson in at dummy half. Bell there for Clune. It bounces for McCarthy. Perkins with some space again. Back on the inside for Mecky. Some space if it open up for him. And he will be made to play it there. So just wait. wait just back. a bad ball. Joel Johnson to spend most of his career at nine. Just we wait. mentioned he's possibly the best nine in country rugby league there, but that pass just uh, wasn't what Sam Clune was after. No, a little bit wayward on the tail end of that set, Mitch. And, but through the hands and Sakopi Mecky just finding a little bit just of space. One. And just wrapped up just shy of the try line, Western Suburbs bringing it out of their own area. Move. Two. And Mitch, another let off for Western Suburbs. They're standing up in defence. And right. Thrill just keep applying the pressure. Three. And West are, they're only, they're, they are up for the task today, Mitch. They've had all, so much defensive work so far in this game. Through, it's all been Thrill in attack. Oh. Yeah, they have been good defensively. Just the one try could well have conceded a couple more oh. given the field position the Butchers have had. But got to think it'll take a toll later on in this game as they look to try to get towards halfway. That's another high one. McCarthy coming forward to take that one, and he does. Makes it look easy in the end. Earns a round of applause from the crowd. They saw how high that one went. It came down with snow on it. And some space now on this edge for Perkins. 
Move over on, halfway. So another set started on the front foot for the Butchers. Clue now on to Bailey. Stand. Bailey put on his back there by Stanford. Two. The more good field position here for the Butchers. Ten. Ruskin now takes Four. it up towards the 20. Josh. Three. Plays it to Witty. Second man for Johnson. Long ball there for Gallagher. Move. He'll be made oh. to play at 15 metres out, 10 in from touch. They go blindside for Johnson. Drops that one on the toe and a deflection. It may have been offside there. I think he was. Got a feel for Justin Rodriguez there. It bounced into his hands before he even realised he had it. Johnny on the spot and there's the penalty. So you would think they'll uh, keep the Pretty pressure on. on Johnny. That ball just fell into Rodriguez's hands, didn't it, Mitch? As we see through with another fresh set of six tackles applying at the through at the Western Suburbs line. Hey! Three and a half minutes to go, Mitch, One, in this first half. As Cerule, centre of the paddock, push left Ruskin. Ruskin onto Kloon, Kloon out the back to McCarthy. McCarthy with options onto Mackey's chest. And Mackey's just dived over and has he got in the corner? I think he scored that try, Mitch. We'll just get confirmation. Then we have Mitch. Mark, Marcus away. Janet points to the Walk spot. It's Kobe Mackey. That was Melbourne Storm. That was Melbourne Storm-like, wasn't it? I'd call it Matty Utah-like. He was right on the chalk there. Mecky mentioned how big a boost he is for the Butchers coming in through the middle, but he hugged the chalk there and just so big and strong. Young Kurt Field out on this edge did his best, but just couldn't knock him into touch. And a good finish. I'm sure if uh, this was NRL, we'd be looking at that about a thousand times from the bunker. Tell you what, great to see a referee just point to the spot, isn't it, Johnny? Whether it's right or wrong or wave it away, good to see a decision made quick. 100%. That's what's great about local football, isn't it, Mitch? The referee and the, the touch judges, they've got to come up with the decision straight away. And there would have been a bit of uh, difference on the scales there between <laughs> Kurt Field and Sakopi Mecky. And Thrill, they had all the possession in Western Suburbs territory in the last 10 minutes. So it, it had to give it some stage, didn't it, Mitch? Yeah, indeed they did. They got there, as we mentioned, it was just that little lapse just before half time. It's occurred again for the Devils two minutes before the break. Thrill now leading by 12 0. Probably a fair indication to the way it's played out. I think, obviously, well on top. I think uh, Jared Costello, but relieved to get that try, would have wanted to get a few more points out of what has been a long run of momentum for his side. Would have been happy going in 8 0, but far more content going in 12 nil possibly 14 as Luke Gallagher attempts the conversion moves in he struck oh, it pretty yeah. well but it's out to the left so the margin remains 12 One a bit to go, fellas. and perhaps a bit of a sigh of relief going Stays through inside. the Devils there I mean 14 points three puts you beyond the two converted tries would have been a big mountain to climb in the second half Johnny yeah they would have been looking that with their mouths wide open thinking please miss <laughs> It's easy to go in at 12-0 and what it is, 14-0 coming back in the second half. As you said, Mitch, it's more than two converted tries. And going to the half-time break in another minute, just over a minute left in this first half. As you said, Jared Costello would have been happy going into that break at 8-0, but I think he'd be, he'd be wrapped with a 12-0 lead going into the break. As the tee slow to come out. West taking all the time they can here. They won't mind that clock kicking down they've really been on the back foot for much of this half had some opportunities at no the start. other end but no start Will. have come to naught one thing in watching west though this year johnny certainly no quit in them even in some games against the top four sides they've been edged out play out the 80 have done it every week this young side they'll do exactly that again this afternoon and still in with a huge shot of this game at 12 nil down. It's been all the butchers in this half, but halftime will halt that momentum. And I do wonder, Johnny, at this venue, it wasn't that long ago, a 22-8 lead the butchers had their collegians and went down, I think it was 32-22. So uh, I'm sure Jared Costello reminding his troops of that match when he gets into the sheds at halftime. I think that'll be the first thing Jared Costello will be saying to his men. I was only just thinking Four. the same thing, Mitch. <laughs> I was having flashbacks to that day here. It's uh, Thrill v Collies, and as we hear the half-time siren go off, Thrill will go into the break, 12 points to nil, Mitch, and it's going to be an interesting second half, this. Yeah, indeed, 12 nil is the margin for the Butchers. <laughs> Leading 12 nil, it is half-time, still very much anybody's game. We'll be back with all the second-half action in just a little while.
Ralph Rodriguez we believe again. a beautiful smile is an investment for the future. Locations in Wollongong, Shell Harbour and Bowral, we're family focused with caring staff to share in your orthodontic journey. Using digital technologies and private consulting rooms. And don't forget our on-time guarantee, where Smile Team will pay you if you are kept waiting. We can't wait to meet you! Contact Smile Team Orthodontics today to get that winning smile. Come on into Collegians. Factory specialises in ribs, dry aged steak, and wood-fired pizzas, sourcing quality ingredients from the local area. So, see you at Collegians. Welcome back to Collegians Sports Centre. The rule already out there on the paddock for the second half. The, but the Devils rather making their way onto the pitch with it all to do in the second half. But 40 minutes, 12 points. Certainly a very doable task, Johnny. Yeah, it sure is. Sh and Brett Kamala, he would have been pleased with his defensive effort by his side. I know they've leaked 12 points, Mitch, but Thrill did apply so much pressure to the Western Suburbs line in that first half. And Coach Costello, he, I'm, I'm sure his advice would have been do not take your foot off the accelerator, Mitch, and keep going forward. 40 minutes left on the kick of, that of the mate. season for one of these sides, Mitch, so yeah, okay. oh, it is do or die one. out there. As we see... Gallagher about to get us underway again, Mitch, and 40 minutes left for someone's season. It's going to be an interesting last half of football for one of these sides. Indeed, it is West yeah, for good. first use of the footy. I'm sure you can't score a 12-point try. I'm sure that would have been part of the no message start. in the sheds. You've got to peg back the deficit. You've got to work your way back into it. And West are a side very adept in the grind. They like going set for set, kick for kick. It's how they like to play. So the game plan won't need to deviate too much to chase down no this margin. Let him off. One. Let him off. As Big Buster Ray talk about the experience right, the Butchers have at their disposal. When you talk about the all-time West leading games, player Greg Ray won some competitions too as part of a three-peat as well. So a huge boost to get back from injury and get on the paddock for Brett Kamoy this afternoon. Rodriguez on to Vivoy. Not a lot of space there for Vivoy. He goes off his left foot. And he'll be made to play it on halfway. There's one thing I would say about that half. It was Junior Vivo. We spoke about how dangerous he is, just slightly underutilised, I felt, in that half. They didn't really go to him a whole lot. Granted, they didn't have much footy and not a lot of field position. I'm sure they'll look to fix that in the second half. Green now with the kick. He'll look for the grass and find it. Mecky and McCarthy going back to field this one. McCarthy will bring it back. He'll be held on his own 10, so a good set to start the second half there for the Devils. Perkins taking up through the middle. I guess the instructions will be the same for the rule, Johnny, obviously with a 12-point buffer. Can't shut up shop, just need to keep going through their same process and keep looking to build on that lead. Yeah, just get the ball up the other end of the field and sort of chip away at the Western Suburbs line as they previously did in the first half, Mitch. They came up with two tries in that first half through consistent football just to keep attacking that Western Suburbs line. And Western Suburbs are up to the task as we see on the last tackle, Johnson to the boot. And Johnson is just wrong-footed Lachlan Hurst there. He's, Lachlan Hurst has regathered that and bringing it back out and a good first upset from both sides, Mitch. It was, yeah, they're straight back out into it. No cobwebs gathering in the sheds. They both come out on song. As Tom goes towards the sideline, he's getting very close, and that's just hard to figure, Johnny. He had plenty of space to run and made a beeline for the sideline. Well, Johnny, that was almost bizarre. That was a bit strange. He looked up, he, he did see a tiny bit of space, but not enough space to get round the defence of Tom Simpson and Hayden Croslin. And Will Tom just really taking the wrong option there. And to the disbelief of all these Western Suburbs teams, they had their hands in the air after Will Tom got pushed over sideline, Mitch. Arms over. Well, it's a strange one. Puts the pressure back on I'm the Devils over. here. Butcher starting this set on the 30 metre line with the feed. Johnson, a good push in the scrum there from the Devils, but the ball comes out. Perkins crabbing his way back towards the middle of the field. He'll take the ball over the 30 and pinch a couple more metres. Held there by McIlrick. Left to Kloon. Finds Bailey. Bailey wasn't quite out of full head of steam there. 
Tommy's. Marty, stand up. So a slow play, the ball from Bailey. They go left, Kloon. Prop stops goes again, Perkins. Bit of space there, but Carpenter comes with a second effort round the leads, drags him down. Clue now takes it to the line on the inside there for Bailey. Had the arm free, but no one in support. Witty, flat ball there for Kennedy. He's got that arm free, looking to throw that offload. And he gets away from, I think it was McKilrick again. And that ball comes out, so... I'll say it's a devil's knock on there is the call from Marcus Jennett, so... Maybe got out of jail there. The Butchers was a bit of a set lacked a bit of direction, a little bit sideways, but uh, the ball bounces their way. It came up favourably, fourth the rule in the end there, Mitch. With Reese Kennedy just getting that big arm free, looking for one of his little teammates, just coming off one of the West players into another Western Adele. Suburbs hand. So through all again, attacking the Western Suburbs line. It's a bit of a repeat of the first half so far, Mitch. Yeah, it's not what. West would have wanted to do coming out of the sheds to give him opportunities so early on. Clune offload there from Bailey. Offload again. And the Butchers just trying to play a bit of hot potato football here. I think they'll need someone to just put their hand up and settle things down. Kennedy plays it on the 10 dead in front of the post. Johnson, dummies. Still going, Johnson. Lost that. Jeez, he got closer Lost than he probably had a right to there, but they've he spilled the ball in trying to score there, so that was almost something from nothing, Johnny. Yeah, it did come out of nothing. Johnson was looking to go out the back there to McCarthy, but it was well read by Junior Vivo, who rushed up onto McCarthy, and Johnson just took the right option there and went himself. I'm sure if that pass did go to Ty McCarthy, Vivo was just absolutely going to smoke T-Mac. So Johnson just getting caught over the Western Suburbs try line. And we see Justin Rodriguez about to feed the scrum for West. Bring it up, go back, go back. West, they really need to get down in Thrill's territory, Mitch, and try and put some points onto the scoreboard, or at least try and apply some pressure to the Thrill line. That they do, as this is Tom now. Runs the ball straight and hard this time. Who he made to play at 12 metres out from his own line. Daly at dummy half again. Cramp, good line speed there. It's young Jared Woody leading the leading the defensive line there, but the ball out the back now for Field, or rather Hurst. It's McKilrick. Take it up over his side's 30. Stacked on this blind side, Stanford now. Good run from Stanford. They needed that. Go, get it, get it, get it. So they go blindside again, Daly onto Rodriguez. He's got Vivi with him. Again, not a lot of space to move in. And he'll be held on the 40. Junior! Junior! <laughs> Junior! Don't hold him and get up and play the ball. Four. So a bit of a false start on the play of the ball there. Four. Comes now Rodriguez putting this one high. It's a wobbly one. McCarthy at the back to field. He does. He lost his footing there and did well to, well to reel that kick in. And he'll break it up Surrender. towards the 20. Clune onto Mecky. Mecky will play it, he's just shy of the 30. Ruskin will go over the 30. And up towards the 40. Four, three. Nice and bunched up here, Thoreau. No secret of their plan to go through the middle on this set as McLoon gets into dummy half. He'll be held on halfway. Four there. Dodge. Good tackle there from Carpenter, I think it is. Come all the way in from right centre to find himself defending in the middle. Last tackle now. Johnson puts that one high out there in between Field and Hurst, but Hurst will take it. And a good chase on the kick there from Perkins. So the rule just keeping the foot on the throat there, getting through their sets, kick at the end of it. And their line speed on the back of it being very good thus far. Two. Will Tom in off the wing. Good shot there from Nine. Perkins. Three. Jared Whitty also involved. Tell you what, Jared Whitty, smallest bloke out there on the field by a fair stretch, but doesn't he get through some work, Johnny? Four. His numbers in defence are enormous. And he was, I think he was Thrill's player of the, the game last week against Berkeley, just given that 
extra bit out of dummy half with Joel Johnson going to seven this season. Jared Whitty has really stepped up with that nine on his zero back. Up, Hordy, and as we see, West just coughing up the ball zero. in their own half. A thrill, Mitch. Another, another fresh set of six tackles with West inside their area. Yeah, they're making a rod for their own back early on in this one, in this half, the Devils. Butchers again peppering their line. McCarthy gets the ball on for Perkins. Some space there for Mech. He already got one try this afternoon, and he'll get his second as well. Well, I'll tell you what, they found some space. He still had some work to do there, Johnny, but as we saw in the first half, he certainly takes some stopping and some shoving off his line. He doesn't need much room down that left-hand flank to find that try line. He's tiptoed down the edge again and just gone past a few West defenders. But that try on the back end of a Western Suburbs mistake, as through all they've gone out to a 16 nil lead, and West they would have been hey, wanting to score yeah. first in this second half, and yeah. through all they've come up with the points, yeah. Mitch, and they have not let their foot off the accelerator coming out in this second half. No, and I tell you what, they certainly yeah, haven't had to, given yeah. it hasn't been a hard task for them to get back onto the swing of things, given the the ball the Devils have coughed up early on in this half to give them the opportunity. See Justin Rodriguez coming out for a chat with Marcus Jennett. Just wait, as Luke. Gallagher attempts this kick. Still 30 nah, minutes to go. Well, going both ways, okay. The rucks is, the speed's fine, 16 mate. points are handy, but for 18, a very steep mountain to climb if Gallagher can knock this one over. As funny as we say, Johnny, perhaps. That extra two points they did pitch early on. We'll come back to give him a handy buffer. Gallagher, the left footer. Really can do it all in the rugby league field. Forwards, backs, kick goals. I like you. And that one's waved away. So the margin remains 16-0 in favour of the Butchers. And West needing to find some sort of response here. Or risk their season just slipping away from them. Nice start. Nice start. We did touch on it, Johnny, but perhaps with the, uh, the benefit of a bit of retrospect, we can say perhaps the, the week off did seem to have halt West momentum. They had a great win against Collegians here in the penultimate round and had the week off in the bye, and it just seems struggled to get back into the swing of things in the click uh, having that week off. Hold, hold. Yeah, it can go each way having that week off after having a great win. Like they did knock off Collegians and it was the talk. It was the talk of the competition, that win, about this young Western Suburbs side Two. knocking off Two. the leading, the competition leaders that week. But going into that week off, it looks like that they really needed to have another game of football and just let that momentum keep going. As we talked about Thoreau, they've come off two great wins against Coromel and Berkeley, and they've had all the momentum going into this game, and it seems to just be carrying on here, Mitch. Yeah. Indeed, perhaps those pace-setting sides, the Dapdo and, and Collegians, have been up for a long time, could have used a week off. You would have thought both these sides would like to have kept playing right up into the finals, as the Butchers did. Obviously, West did everything they could do leading into a final. It was a great big win against the league leaders. And then as Will Tom now, straight out of attack, we're getting his side on the front foot. And boy, they needed that carry. Been under the pressure deep down in their own end. And Will Tom, a great run. And now Kane Brennan getting on the back of it as well. So the back five men having an impact here for the Devils. Green, a bit of space on that edge. Not sure what was happening out there for the Roar. Field still over there. Gets away from one, coming back infield. Gibbs, ball back to Hurst. Butcher's defensive line at sixes and sevens there. Ray will take the settler. Only knows one way, Buster. Straight and hard as Rodriguez puts a little kick in there. McCarthy coming forward to field it. One. And testing out there, not sure it was the best kick for the situation there from Rodriguez, although, as we see, Vivai no, no. conceding a penalty. No, no. Bit of extra work there on the ground. As I was saying, it, probably not the best kick for the situation there from Rodriguez, although in that match against Collies did lay on a couple of tries off the boot. Rodriguez was outstanding in that game. 
I don't care. So I expect him to go back to the well. I don't care. Thanks. Simpson finds Johnson. Harold Snell, who didn't get a taste of the action in the first half. Deliberately uh, held back there by Jared Costello to really give him that impetus going forward. And he's dropped the ball there. Just as we start. Did I call him a rap there, Johnny? I don't think I'd given him a rap yet. So we can't really call that the commentator's mock, but uh, trouble, trouble coming out of their own end there for the Butchers and the Devils back on the attack. Yeah, it was a good previous set by Western Suburbs to get down into Thrill's territory, but just a, a little misjudgment of a kick there from Justin Rodriguez. But it was a good swoop play by Ty McCarthy to really read that kick from Rodriguez to bring it out. As we said, Harold Snell it was a strong carry from Ball Snell, in. but just a little bit of a sloppy play of the ball, and he's handed it back over. And there's Vivi taking a strong hit up off the off the scrum, and Tommy Simpson. Vivi must have a target on his head. Says Tom Simpson on it because one. Tommy Simpson squared up on Vivi a couple of times in this match. It's like young bull on old bull, there, Mitch. He certainly would have known that was his task this afternoon, as we Ooh. touched on a bit earlier. No more lethal attacking player in the competition than Junior Vivi on this edge. Simpson been up to that task so far this afternoon as he's set a partner over there, makes another good tackle, Perkins. Carpenter. Four. There's Daly dummies once. Rodriguez with some room. Takes the line on. They go blind, so a nice fast play. The ball hurst with a bit of space. Vivi puts that one on the toe. And I think Gallagher might have just knocked that one on in trying to scoop it up. I'll tell you what, about his time again, I think he might just fall on that one. Yeah, definitely. Gallagher be ha wishing he had that time over again, Mitz, to just fall on that ball. But it's a little bit more like the brand of Western oh, Suburbs football in the tail end of the season. They have done those last two sets of six, and there's still plenty of time on the clock. 25 minutes to go. 16 points behind it is a tough, tough ask. But with players like Justin Rodriguez, Wade, Wade, Lachlan Hurst, and the experience of Bryce Gibbs up front, you can't write them off just yet, Mitch. Certainly not. I'll tell you what, you've got to give a big rap to their, their back five there. Those two sets, they were really under the pump. Will Tom, although he did run it over the sideline on one occasion, really got his side out of trouble. And obviously Kane Brennan in the action as well. Hayden Carpenter really put the side on their back to get him up this end with this opportunity as Ray looking to burrow his way over. He scored from there plenty of times before, but he spilt it. Well, it would have been, given the way the Butchers have defended this afternoon, it would have been a soft one. Perhaps a bit of a let off there for a big buster. He just couldn't quite get that one down. If anyone deserves a try in semi-final football, probably is Buster A4, Western Suburbs, and just spilt that one over the line. And their last few sets from Western Suburbs have showed a lot of purpose in their attack, which way they have been lacking in the first bit of this match. As we've seen Harold Snell just bring it out fourth the rule. There's Hayden Crosland helping out his forward, just approaching the halfway line. There's Jared Whitty Two. in at dummy half. He'll go left, Max Bailey. He's had another strong game, Max Bailey, Mitch. Really has. Well, that was a strip there. That was as obvious as the nose on your face, that. Not sure what Daly, Josh Daly was trying Thank to achieve you. with that one. He's just pulled the ball straight out. Do you see some uh, tough decisions made by referees, but uh, that wasn't one for Marcus Jennett. And another piggyback for the Butchers. They were starting to do just a little bit tough out of their end there, but the penalty again gives them some impetus. No. Clune at first receiver, Flego. Bryce Gibbs coming up out of the line to meet. He's rival one. prop there, Witty. He'll take it to Johnson. Johnson on the inside for Snell. Snell, he did spill that ball in his first Ooh. carry, but certainly throwing his weight around early on since being injected into the game. Kloon, some space. A lofted ball there for Mecky. Already got two. He's got his eyes on a hat trick. The defence gets across there and stops him on that occasion. He'll play it. Metre in from touch. Two metres out from the line. Perkins. Flat ball for Kloon onto Bailey. Oh. Plays it to Witty. Dodge, second man there for Johnson. He's got support inside and out. Wrapped up by his opposite number there, Rodriguez. Mate line, bust. They go blindside on the last. Witty just dropping that one on the toe. And they're driving Hurst back there. So 
not quite in the in goal what they would have liked, but I think Jared Costello pretty happy with that end of that set, Johnny. Yeah, I'm sure Witty would have liked that to roll into the in goal line and the thrill players chase that and try and trap West in there, but next bit, best option there. You know, millimetres from the try line, so West has got to bring it out from their own area and try and get down the other end. As we see a little bit of a pause in play again, Marcus Jennett just seeing the high viz of the water runners, letting him know to get off the field, Mitch. And at least he's been consistent there. He told Thrill to get off there in the first half, and he's got the West runners to just get off the field. It is the stalwart, Matty Clark, getting his marching orders there. He's, of course, Rain West to his socks. Okay. And a penalty there. Boy, you had to think they needed that one. The Devils doing the tough out of their own end. It'll be green to look for touch. So inside the Butcher's half, Devils will start this set. Carpenter. Carpenter, who looks to have moved into a back row roll on that edge with Kane Brennan coming onto the wing field into the centres and Hayden Carpenter getting a bit closer to the action. Move on. Don't hold it's Gibbs now Move. playing the ball. Daly out of dummy half. Dummy's on the inside, flat ball there for King. Did well to reel that in. Big Justin King, it was way out in front of him, but he did enough. Daly, dummies again, straightens. Made a beeline there for Luke Dodge. Dodge making the tackle. Green comes up, good pressure. It was Jared Whitty again up out of the line, putting the pressure on there. We just gave him a wrap earlier on, and he just gave Justin Rodriguez no time whatsoever to have a look at, find the right option there. And the ball again hits the deck for the Devils. Mecky now the try scorer. Making his way through the big men. 20 minutes to go. We're into the final quarter of this one. Gibbs off the line, but I think he just pitched a few too early. Too early. You can watch it. Big Bryce Gibbs have a bit of a running battle with Marcus Jennett there about the 10 metres in the last couple of sets. But, uh, Marcus gets... The last say there as Clune puts this one into touch. Butchers will be looking for that hold, hold. fourth ball pointer, which you think would have to put this one to bed, Johnny, if they can get across in this next couple of minutes. Yeah, I'm sure Thrill Butchers fans here and Jala Costello would feel a lot more comfortable if Thrill did cross the try line and add another four pointer to their tally. As we see, Thrill 20 metres out from the west try line. Witty out of dummy half. He'll look to go at the back to Johnson. Johnson will just show and go again. He's thrown the dummy a few times today, Joel Johnson, Mitch. Yeah, obviously he played a lot of footy with the number nine on his back, so he is adept in traffic and in the middle of the park. Oh, nice ball there from McCarthy. And oh, it's gone behind. It was a great catch and pass on there from McCarthy to create the space. And Mecky back too eager to get his hat-trick just overran Perkins slightly there, and the ball sails into touch. Yeah, it was good hands from T Mac there just to get on to Perkins. And Perkins probably had a chance to go himself then, but being no, not greedy, he was looking to give to Kobe Mackey his faster. third try for the day. No. And it's just sailed I'm over the right. sideline. And Thrill, they I'm could have right. nearly put this game to bed there, Mitch. And West let off the hook. So you what, it would have been the easiest one. So Kobe scored over that edge. He's had to do a lot of work on the two he scored today. That one would have been strolling across untouched. But and now, there we go, tip for tat. Inside the 10. It's a nice long touch finder there from Rodriguez. Have a look! Daly for McKilrick. Tackled there by Flego, Harold Snell. One. Also doing the defensive work. Stanford on for King. Two. So they go along to Stanford. Had support, takes the ball to ground. Daly now on for Lodge. Lodge flat ball for Green. And I'll tell you what, I don't think it's what you want for one of your halves to catch the ball flat footed with Aaron Beat standing right in front of him. Would not have been on the tip sheet. Rodriguez takes it to the line, hit well there by Flego. Really have pressured the halves 
of this young side well. The Butcher's really given him no space to work as Green rolls a neat little kick into that in goal. Okay, that'll do, that'll and do, Crosland do. takes the tackle. It has been a feature of what they've done. It has to have featured on uh, on Jacko's team sheet, you would think, Johnny, to, to really get up and hustle and bustle these young halves. They've done it to good effect so far. Yeah, they've really got up in Justin Rodriguez's game in face all game. Number three. As we see, Green just put a nice little kick there into the back for a, a repeat set. And Hayden Crosland, he had no room to move there. And West with a great kick chase. So they'll get a time? chance. What way are you going? Mitch, so they're all dropping back line. out to Western Suburbs. Can they take the chance of putting four points on the board? You think they almost need to. 16 minutes left, so you have to think in this set or at least another repeat to give themselves any sniff that have to put at least some dent in that margin. Hold! One. Daly on to Lodge. Lodge skips his way towards the line. Move. Great to see Cole Lodge back playing finals football. Two. Had an absolute horror run with injuries over the last couple of years and really putting in for his side out there this afternoon. Stay. Daly onto Rodriguez, finds Green, Green dummies. Well, goes off his right foot and hit across the chops there from McCarthy. He'd wrong footed him. Wait, so wait. McCarthy there did what he had to do to stop him. What are we doing, Josh? But a penalty and another opportunity for the Devils. Okay, go. King taking the set of lumbers up towards the line. Stand! Lodge. Back up there and he spilt the ball. There it is. That is the commentator's mock. Just give him a wrap and he spills the ball. Sorry, Lodgy, I'll buy you a beer. Just like that, the Bring opportunity. Back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Snuffed out. You'll think they'll get back. another couple, but certainly Clean. getting down to Jared. last opportunity stage, Johnny. Yeah, they needed to put points on the board. Then Western Suburbs. You gave a rap to Jared Whitty earlier on, Mitch, and he was the one that got up in the face of Kyle Lodge then to force the mistake. And it just seems that through all, they want this, they want this semi-final football win more than Western Suburbs at the moment. Certainly has looked that way this afternoon, Whitty. I tell you what, he's got a lot of Cameron McInnes about him. I, I think he's a sort of smaller guy out there, but he worked right okay. through the roof, gets through the 80 minutes. And unlike Cameron McInnes, has all his teeth. So. Two. So that's good, con solid contact there. Move away! I think it was McCurick on Simpson. Play it, three. As Witty now, that man out from dummy half. Hold on, look, we don't want to have the commentator's mock again. Ten, four. He does his job there, plays the ball. Clune on to Flego. Bit of a carbon copy of the first half this set. The, the rule big men just ploughing their way through the middle. Jumper. West has struggled for answers in the middle of the park. Thus far as Johnson puts this one high, Hurst coming forward to take it. He takes it well. He had defence right in his face. And I'll tell you what, opportunities few and far between, but you have to think Lachlan Hurst been one of the Devils' best this afternoon, Johnny. He sure has, Mitch. That was a great Ooh. take of the football. He had Max Bailey steaming down in front of him, and I'm sure if I was out there, I'd have had all eyes on Max Bailey and not the ball, Mitch. <laughs> Indeed. And Beathy's just tried to get away with one there, and he hasn't. Someone, has, someone told Beath, you're not allowed to contest the ball at the ruck anymore. I saw this where he was playing when, the, back in the days he started, you were able to. So the Devils with a chance now to start a set inside the Butcher's 30. Carpenter takes that one forward. Tackled there by Perkins and Clune on that edge. And Jack Noble just back onto the field. I'll tell you what, it's been a luxury for Jared Costello this afternoon. The rotation he's been able to have through his forwards. He's given Jack Noble a big long spell there as flat ball for McCurick. He spins out, Three gets there. close to the line, but dragged down there by Flego. No dummy half. Aaron, no more. And that no one should call that a perhaps 50-50. There was no dummy half, so he was rushing in there, but probably the right call. There's Lodge, steams onto that one. Get off! And again, the Devils. Devils trainers getting their Just marching wait. orders again. Wait. You won't get away with it with Marcus Jeddah holding the whistle. 
Justin King. So the Devils looking to take a direct route to the try line here. Two. Three flat balls, can't get them across. Green, second man there for Hurst. Field and dragged down there by Perkins. Well read by the defence out there. Up off the line again. Green. Look for support. There was no one there. And he's put on his back 15 metres out from the try line. So the Devils losing ground. Now you're on. Rodriguez on the inside there for Stanford. And he's dropped that one out the back. Rodriguez off his left foot. Trying to get there dumped on his back there by McCarthy. Stand up. And he looks like he may have hurt himself there, Rodriguez. Todd McCarthy, T Mac there, he straight away gestured to Mark. Nice move the ball anyway, Marcus Jennett and said J Rod had picked up an injury. Huge blow if Rodriguez can't continue as we touched on, was outstanding One foot wide for the in. Devils in that win over no Collegiate a couple of weeks tackle. ago. And you have to think if they're going to peg back this deficit, they need their number seven out there, Johnny. Definitely, Mitch. They need him to stay on the paddock for the last 11 minutes. I'm not sure if Ty McCarthy was letting Marcus Jennett know that J-Rod was hurt or he was trying to sniff out a little knock-on or something knowing T-Mac. <laughs> but it looks like a bit of, might be cramps or something, hopefully, for Justin Rodriguez. We see the trainer just working on him over there. It'll give a bit of a breather for both sides here, Mitch. A bit of water in the belly and thrill will get their line set. Again. You get him every game? Yeah, it could be a knee problem <laughs> too, I know. J-Rod battled knee injuries Maybe through the back end of last year and carried one in. Still played in the grand final, but was battling a no, knee problem, so we hope it's not no, a reoccurrence of that. Pop the ball, mate. Just where he is, Josh. If there's been a better player for West this season wait for it. Jake. Justin Rodriguez. Aaron, if you're going to be Mark someone's going to be a Mark Just wait for it. It looks One like he will continue. We hold. That's five. <laughs> five. Daly onto Stanford. Green gets away from one tackle, puts the kick across. Mecky goes up there and takes it well in the end. But jumped into the field of play, so it will be a line dropout. Over here. Built low to the ground, but he got up pretty high on that one, Johnny. Yeah, I think those big calves and thighs just sprung him off the ground to take that ball, Mitch. But well done, Sakobi Mechie, taking that ball. Because it was needed to be taken. He had a, two of the Western Suburbs players just steaming down, wanting to take that catch off the kick. No start. So another dropout for Thrill. West, they'll just keep applying a bit more pressure to through all the line, Mitch. Yeah, 11 minutes to go, so I have to think they have to come up with points in this set to be any chance of pegging back this deficit, the Devils. Lodge comes hard on that ball, goes up his right foot and a nice offload. Daly now. Still some space. He's got Vibai in support. Vibai doesn't need a lot of space, but he's dragged down there. Two. From behind, Hayden Crosland doing the defensive work. Rodriguez clearly still hampered on those legs as King settles it for the Devils in front of the post. Three. Some numbers to their right. They go that way. Green back on the inside for Lodge, and he really has nowhere to go there. Good tackle there. Jared Whitty again in the middle. Stanford. Prop and stop was flat footed catching that one, but the ball at the back, some space. You think they'll have to score here, Wes? And they have. Will Tom has crossed. Well, we said if they were going to be any chance of pegging back the lead, Johnny, they had to score on this set, and they've done just that there through Will Tom. Yeah, good second phase play there from Western Suburbs, just getting that ball out to their back line there. Thrill just not wrapping up the ball in defence, and Will Tom not running out the sideline then, Mitch, and crossing over to score. West first try for the day. Only 10, just under 10 minutes remaining, 16-4 Mitch, and is this the try that West needed to lay on a few more points? Certainly deserve a try there for Will Tom. He's been huge for the Devils yeah, coming out of his own end. Been tough so going for much of the day for the Devils forwards, and Will Tom certainly came out, hasn't shirked his duties there, helping them come out of trouble, and he gets the try there. That, Gets his side back in at a few nervous moments now for the Butchers faithful. I think we could add one Johnny Pett to that number. Vibai, the second leading point scorer 
in the competition this season. That's largely. I know you, Junior. But not good enough. It was so they're a margin 16 4. But the Devils with just a little bit of a sniff, Johnny. Yeah, they deserve the try, Mitch, as you said. And Vivi just missing that goal. And I'm sure it went through a lot of the thrill, faithful here, supporters. It was about in the same position yeah, a few weeks ago at that 16 all draw no where Vivi had a chance to okay. put West in front. No, no and it was just waved really? away. So eight and a half minutes remaining. Luke Gallagher here to get us back underway. Welcome back to Collegiate Sports Centre. The rule already out there on the paddock for the second half. The but Western Suburbs wanting to get that ball down the other end, Mitch. It almost came for a little bit of nothing too. The try it was Wade Stanford had caught the ball a little bit flat-footed, but good enough to get the offload out and some space out wide. Junior Vivi, some nice hands for Tom to cross. So looking to complete here, and as I say that, <laughs> thought we'd set a knock on there, but Marcus Jennett rules the ball was stripped out. So a piggyback penalty here for the Devils. I'll tell you what, if they can come up here and post another try, it'll be some very heart-stopping moments for Coach Jared Costello and the rest of the Butchers faithful. Carpenter. Good tackle there from Witty again. Sam Clune also involved. One, one hold. Rather, it was Max Bailey. I was off by about six foot. As Justin King now takes it over to the 20. Run. Aaron. Two. Daly now. Dummies to Stanford. Flat ball there for Lodge. I'll tell you what, running with some impetus. It's coming on for his second stick, Kyle Lodge. As Daly goes out from Dummy Half, he's looking to get over the line. Getting a bit of an assist there from Lodge, but they'll Four. be made to play it. Rodriguez, flat ball there for Vivi. Well read by Tom Simpson, but Vivi might just be strong enough. They'll say he's held up. They'll say he was held up, I'll tell you what. The West players around the ball there, Rodriguez and Vivi were certain he'd got it down. Hold there. Hold there. Junior, come on. I don't know how much credit we'll give Tom Simpson for thinking ahead here, but whether that's a cramp or one of those magic cramps that goes away. I'm pretty sure it'll go away pretty sure, pretty soon there, Mitch, that cramp. Just allowing the through line to get set, but Junior Vivi. Move up, Joel. I thought he was going to crash that's over five. there. He's just been held up in some no great start. desperation defence there from no the rule. And if there is a man to five. put Western Suburbs into this game again, it is Junior Vivi, Mitch. It's a big, big play defensively in the rule to deny this one. Mecky. Oh, he's dropped that one. Well, he had too much time there. You'd have to say they, they Green got the kick slightly wrong and just put it a little bit too deep. Mecky looked like he was going to gobble that one up, but he's Can't put it go. dead. That could be a huge turnaround moment there. It was a big play defensively from the line, young Tommy Simpson on this side to hold Junior Vive up because I tell you what, they have a handy buffer, but Aside coming home with a wet sail That's in a fine. finals game, it's very, very hard to shift momentum once it goes away from you. And perhaps for the first time in this match, it's with the Devils here, Johnny. Yeah, momentum's everything in rugby league, isn't it, Mitch? When you're, when you're on the front foot, you just keep going on the front foot. As we see West just approaching over the 20 metre line, and it wasn't the best dropout from Thoreau. And Western Two. Suburbs in great field position, middle of the field. 15 metres out, Mitch, and they're, they're pushed left Stanford onto Ray. I'm sure Ray just trying to bust over here as he knocked that one on earlier on. I'm sure he'd be wanting to cross this line, Mitch. Let him go, Jono. Yeah, he was steaming over there. They go blindside again. Rodriguez just tucked that one under there. Hooker, hooker. Four. Daly. To Hurst, to Green, long, expansive play here. Carpenter, some space. Perkins gets up there, field gets away from him. The cover of Sam Clune coming, and they might push him into touch. They will. And well, that may just have been the Devils' last chance there. Obviously, 12 points the margin, four minutes left on the clock. Take him back, Josh. They've got to cover the line, mate. That play there is enough to see some of the fans start heading towards the exits.
And while we're not calling it yet, Johnny, you have to, as much as it's been yeah, good no, in attack, the Butchers, on, defensively very on song today, really Come made out. Devils work very, very Here's hard the for their lone four-pointer. Probably a Head win in. if they get there built Head just in. as much on defence as attack. Ball in. Yeah, they've been enormous in defence and on the fringes there. Tom Simpson and Daniel Perkins, they've just really come up and shut down Vivi and Carpenter today. And with the momentum they've had through the middle, it's really laid the platform for the points that they've scored today. And with Sam Clume and Daniel Perkins Junior. pushing West over the sideline then. I think the first person to congratulate them would have been Sakopi Mekki after Hi. spilling that, that cross kick. And Go. as we see, Thrill just bringing it out here, Mitch, and rolling forward over nearly approaching the 40 metre line. Move Indeed, although they've probably got Three. plenty to thank Big Sakopi for themselves with the double out there this afternoon. Move away! Four! Four. Reese Kennedy up over halfway. Doing a good job backing up from Illawarra yesterday is Kennedy. Johnson just rolls that one towards touch. Nice play from the from the skipper there. Knew just what was needed in the situation and gets the play right. So you have to think from this scrum we'll see some sort of Hail Mary play from the Devils to give themselves any hope. They will have to do it from deep inside their territory. Rodriguez feeding the scrum on their own 10. Will Tom away at first receiver. Green. Dummies left goes right to Brennan. Dragged down there by Perkins again. Stanford onto Lodge. Good leg drive there from Lodge. Takes it up over the 30. My feet 18. Three. They come to Rodriguez. Onto McKilrick. Wrapped up there by Johnson. Nowhere to go. The Young Devils back rower. Rodriguez in a dummy half. Flat ball there for Ray. And that is a shot there from Reese Kennedy. Wow. Buster Ray, he shrugs it off like it's nothing. He's as hard as nails, but I tell you what, that shook the foundations of the stadium, that one. Great to see, too, with the match almost sewn up, to see a big guy still get up out of the line. And just a good to see some of the big boys come together, Johnny. Yeah, it sure is. And he's had an awesome career, Buster Ray. And if that's his last carry, that's very memorable. <laughs> as we see, a, a kick into Thrill's in goal line, and Sakobi Mekki just brushing past two of the Western Suburbs players to get Thrill into the field of play. And Thrill, they'll just want to hold this ball and get to their kick. Only a minute and a half remaining, Mitch, and the Western Suburbs fans have realised that their team will not be progressing to next week, and the Thrill fans, they're all here, still staying to congratulate their side. Yeah, I think Buster might have been uh, reconsidering retirement until that shot. But it is a good point to bring up, Johnny. What a marvellous career 11, 11. in the Devil's Colours for Greg Ray. If this is the last time we see him, then we certainly dip the hats on a fantastic career. As Hurst now brings the ball back for the Devils inside the final minute. We are going through the motions. It will be the rule who live to fight another day. Really? And Johnny, have to think, puts him in a decent position. They now get the week Don't off to watch coll Collegians two. and Dapto go at each other. And whether those top two sides take a bit of petrol out of each other, the rule could even find a way of back doing their way into this. Yeah, we talked about it at half time three. at the break about next week's mighty clash between Dapto and Collegians. And with Thrill gaining the week off next week, are really going to... And here we see Reese Kennedy just coming up with the ball and going over into West Territory. But yeah, those two sides, it's going to be... It'll be a great clash next week. And I'm sure Jared Costello and all the Thrill players will be sitting in the grandstand here watching that game unfold in front. And there's Sam Clune go through. And Sam Clune, he got one in the first half and he'll, he'll get a double today. That's well deserved, the double for Sam Clune. Mitch, he has really put some structure into the, into the Thrill attack for this game. Yeah, very well deserved there, Sam Clune. Put it down to the run from Big Reese Kennedy. A big couple of minutes for, for Big Reese. He's uh, put Buster Ray on his the seat of his pants there. And just Rodriguez just tried a little chip kick and probably forgot how tall Reese Kennedy is. And he just plucked it out of the air and took him up the other end. And Sam Clune there, good enough to go on and do the rest. 
The time is up. The clock has ticked down. So the rule progress. They booked themselves a preliminary final date in two weeks' time for the Devils. That is all she wrote for 2017. Gallant today, certainly, but ought to let themselves to do too much a little bit too late in the game. Luke Gallagher knocks over the conversion, so that is full time. Excellent finals game we've seen. The Butchers, they progress deservedly so. 22 for the margin. We'll look forward to next week now in that clash between Dapno and Collegians in the major semi. Until then, we'll see you that next week somewhere in the Hardware Man Illawarra League. Smile Team believe a beautiful smile is an investment for the future. Locations in Wollongong, Shell Harbour and Bowral, we're family focused with caring staff to share in your orthodontic journey. Using digital technologies and private consulting rooms. And don't forget our on-time guarantee, where Smile Team will pay you if you are kept waiting. We can't wait to meet you! Contact Smile Team Orthodontics today to get that winning smile. Come on into Collegians. Factory specialises in ribs, dry-aged steak and wood-fired pizzas, sourcing quality ingredients from the local area. So, see you at Collegians.